24, 20, 23. We're back with another short video on Reactor 2. Reactor 2 had lost its entire inventory. Uh, China syndrome just might have happened at Fukushima and a melted fuel may have melted through everything and into the earth. So Unit 2 stayed intact uh, visually for the average person. But what happened was the fuel pool burnt, two of them, f for several days. These were enormous temperatures. And if the reactor core didn't melt through, which it did like in reactor one because it had no cooling water, it's going to melt the same way. They went down into the earth. The earth had split in multiple places. And steam coming out of the ground in six places around reactor two were at around 10 sieverts per hour. Significant failure to containment, the NRC says after the first explosion, protection action, that was the United States NRC, protective actions well beyond 50 miles, containment failed. Containment failed in four buildings that we can quantify and eight fuel pools are also gone. The official story now is not got out only tritium and it's an insignificant amount. Shockwave visible during explosions. Work at Unit you know, 4 distraction and the real nightmare is Reactor 3. We're going to show you both of them in the next two videos. Fukushima Reactor Core melted right down into the ground. It's right into the Pacific Ocean. The discharges into the, the Fukushima nuclear material into the Pacific effectively contaminated the ocean. TEPCO proposes some of it be dumped into the ocean. It's a perpetual machine. You have to pour water perpetually over it. It's so radioactive you can't contain it, and it's been going straight into the ocean for 12 years. Completely beyond comprehension how huge the contamination of the oceans will be. <coughs> Death ashes everywhere. And the official story is none of this stuff happened now as of July the 13th. Huge spray of radioactive material from the plant contained plutonium, and it could be upwards of 100,000 pounds of plutonium escaped eight fuel pools and four reactors. Reactor four had half a reactor core. Uh, former official in Fukushima, this is a disaster all the humanity, the entire world. It's on a international level. Bigger than anything they can cope with. TEPCO's fuel rods at reactor two were fully exposed, third explosion. These are caused by the meltdown. Followed in America, many different isotopes. Xenon 133 was 450,000 times above detection levels. These are catastrophic numbers. Have a great day.